Fabrizio Romano releases major morning update from Liverpool after surprise rumour. Liverpool prepares for monstrous bid for underperforming forward. Reds star ready to be part of Anfield transition. Hello Liverpool fans, come check out the latest news from the greatest club in the world. Darwin Nunez sparked surprising rumours about his future at Liverpool by removing all club-related posts from his social media. The forward was on the bench during Reds 4. Two victory over Tottenham Hotspur on Sunday, coming on at the 75th minute to replace Luis Diaz with the score at 4. 1. Nunez has scored 18 goals for Liverpool this season and provided 13 assists, but the deep quality of Jurgen Klopp's attacking options has meant his presence in the team has been intermittent. Since his transfer from Benfica in 2022, the Uruguayan international has scored a total of 33 goals in England, but has often been criticized for his lack of efficiency in front of goal. Following the win over Spurs, Nunez fueled speculation about his Premier League stay by deleting all his Liverpool-related posts on Instagram. A quick visit to his profile reveals only posts about his performances for the Uruguay national team and Benfica. It's currently unclear why the player chose to remove his Liverpool references, but this came shortly after Barcelona was mentioned as a possible surprising destination for him. With impending changes at Anfield with Klopp's departure, Nunez's eventual departure could impact transfer plans for Arsenal and Chelsea. Both teams are likely to be in the market for a new striker next season. With Mikel Arteta, and Mauricio Pochettino looking to bolster their attacks. However, if Liverpool were to sell Nunez, they would also need to enter the market for a new number 9 during the summer. Dear fans, do you believe there's a possibility of Darwin Nunez leaving Liverpool? And if so, would you agree with that decision or would you prefer him to stay at the club? Fabrizio Romano asserts that the chances of Pedri striking a deal with Liverpool are unlikely. While Liverpool is willing to shell out a significant amount to secure Arna Slot and avoid any initial complications after his arrival at Anfield, Romano denies that this investment is aimed at Barcelona midfielder Pedri. Over the past four years, Pedri has emerged as a prominent figure at Barcelona and at the impressive age of 18, clinched the prestigious Golden Boy Award in 2021. His rise has sparked interest from foreign clubs, including Liverpool, which has long been touted as a potential destination for the young talent. However, Romano dismisses this possibility, arguing that Pedri is firmly committed to Barcelona, and there are no indications that he is inclined to join the Premier League. In his words in the daily briefing, Romano assures that, despite the rumors, there are no ongoing negotiations between Pedri and Liverpool, nor between Liverpool and Barcelona for Pedri. He emphasizes that Pedri is happy at his current team and is an essential piece in the ongoing project at Camp Nou. According to information from the Caught Offside website, Al Itihad is preparing a monstrous offer for underperforming team striker Mo Salah. The Egyptian forward may transfer to Saudi Arabia this summer. Mo Salah's goal-scoring problems have cost the team dearly during Jurgen Klopp's last campaign. He and the other attackers have squandered many opportunities in recent weeks, and as a result, the Premier League title seems out of reach. While it's somewhat strange to imagine such a key player leaving the Reds after such a disappointing season, the timing seems right. Salah is 31 years old and will only get older. If Liverpool plans to profit from him, now would be the time. With Salah aging, his form is likely to decline. And consequently, his value to other teams will also decrease. The 31-year-old has played 42 games this season, scoring 25 goals and providing 14 assists. He is still capable of playing at a high level, which would help Liverpool increase his price for the summer. However, this should be approached with caution, as there is no guarantee that the Egyptian forward wants to leave the club. While selling Salah could help the team sign new talents, it would also mark a bitter end to a success story. It will be interesting to see how events involving the Egyptian unfold this summer. Liverpool captain Virgil van Dijk emphasizes his integral role in the imminent transition that will occur when Jurgen Klopp bids farewell to the club at the end of this month. With just one more year on his contract, the renowned Dutch defender is fully aware of the inevitable upheaval and uncertainty that will follow after Klopp's nearly nine years of dominance at the helm of the team. 
However, Van Dyke underscores his loyalty and commitment to the club, stating that he is ready to embrace and lead the forthcoming new era under the guidance of his compatriot Arna Slot, recently appointed as Liverpool's new manager after a deal was struck with Feyenoord. Amidst the speculations and expectations surrounding this leadership change, Van Dijk assures that his immediate focus remains on the last two games of the current season. But he is aware that the club will soon initiate the process of selecting the new coach. Expressing his confidence in Liverpool's board to make the right decisions for the team's future, Van Dijk highlights recent developments, including the confirmation of Michael Edwards' return as football chief executive and Richard Hughes' appointment as sporting director as positive signs of progress and stability. While acknowledging that the impending changes may bring a period of adjustment and challenges, Van Dyke approaches this new phase with optimism and determination. He sees the situation as an exciting opportunity to write a new chapter in the club's history. Confident in Liverpool's ability to overcome any obstacles that arise during this transition process, Van Dyke eagerly anticipates seeing the changes unfold and is ready to play a crucial role in building the club's future success. Thank you very much for watching until here. Until next time.